I just want to let you know that it was not in my plans to do a, a sale like this. My storage unit was broken into and that just prompted a whole bunch of things. Basically, I'm going to show you all the stuff that I am selling and then I'll tell you exactly what happened with this whole storage unit situation. Okay. All right. The first item that I'm selling is this rug. I purchased it and lightly used it, but as you can see, it is like a cheetah print. I really like it and it has a um, nice little thick back, so it's not a thin rug. And this is actually a popular brand, so I checked it's still being sold online. Any item that you are interested in, send me an email at hello at waynaworld.com and take a screenshot of whatever it is that you see and then just send me that screenshot of the item. And it could be multiple screenshots within one email, but yeah. The next box that I am selling is quite a bit, <laughs> non-home decor related at that. This box has three hats. We'll call this the accessory box. A um, Bunch of jewelry. I'm just gonna sell this all as a lot. If you like jewelry, this is going to be a come up for you because I'm literally just trying to get it out of my house. <laughs> so I'm going to show you how all this stuff looks. I'm just going to lay it all out and then you'll be able to see from there. All right, the next box has a lot of like iron accessories and I've had these for a while. I think that they are timeless and it's all curated. Fun fact, when I was purchasing this uh, at the store, this lady tried to jack my cart. Yeah, that happens to me a lot, which I think is a, a good thing. That means people like the way you source. Anyway, these are the pieces. They're all sold as one, one uh, lot. This is so cute to me and I found this for a fraction of what a lot of people wanted in the stores. It's almost like a slinky. It's like a slinky. I still like it, but I want to just do all things new. So this is another vase that I love. I love the texture of this vase. Um, you can add faux plants or float faux leaves or real leaves but this is really nice you need like a vase with some texture and it complements the other items so I always style with these together so if you are interested send me an email hello at wayneworld.com all right the next lot of stuff is from the kitchen if you remember in January I cleaned my kitchen out completely and I found so many things that I do not use like this really tall container you can put 
spaghetti in here. You can put cereal in here. Um, if you need ice, these are like the perfect little, they're not cubed, but they're not nugget. They're like right in between cubed and nugget. And as you can see, you get a lot of little pieces. And then I also have another ice tray, which is really nice because you can store your ice in here and then refill it. Why am I giving, uh, why am I selling these? Because I bought an ice maker, but I had this for a year prior to. So it comes with the base, a scooper, one ice tray, two ice tray, three ice trays, and with the top. Now, the other thing I like about this is, let's just say you want to extract your ice. You turn it upside down. This is after the ice has frozen. You put this top on there and then you push down and then all the ice falls into the little collection chamber. Okay, so that is a part of that lot. These ice trays and you can get fancy and do like the little cute ice like like the uh, non pavo people do. Then I also have some more containers as well, which you can put cereal in here. I don't make cereal. I don't eat cereal. The only cereal we eat is oatmeal and I make it pretty much every morning from scratch. So that's why I'm selling that. This is a, excuse me, acrylic juice container. It has a little pop. I don't have space for this in my white refrigerator. Also have this pink water bottle. This pops up, closes, has a, a lanyard. And then I have this little basket. I don't know. It's cute. Like if you want to fold some towels, maybe put them in here. It's just cute. That's all. And then this is washable. So you can take this out, use this by itself if you want, paint it. A lot of options. I just don't need it. I got more than enough stuff. So that's this lot right here. This is the kitchen box right here. All right, this next lot is huge, okay? If you are looking to redo your office, this lot is for you, okay? It's a lot. Okay, so where do we start? Let's start with the marquee. All right, so this box comes with this marquee and it does work so if you hit the button it'll turn colors or you can turn it off it is battery powered so you don't have to charge it which is nice and i've put all of the other letters inside of this container so you can spell out whatever you want it has hashtags all kind of um punctuation and stuff like that so you can get creative so that's the first item that it comes with also comes with this lamp. Now the lamp itself is like on its last leg. Um, and it's more so in the back, you can't see it. And it's mainly because of the heat. But if you add like some, let's just say some super glue, it will, it will look like nothing's wrong. And it has a nice detail on the lampshade. It is a plug in lamp, it does work. I will demonstrate it for you. And you just have to have like two little uh, nails and it just hooks onto the wall so turns on like this so that is also a part of that lot next is this acrylic box which is really nice it could be used for a variety of things let me turn it right side up i have put makeup in here i have put skincare in here towels office stuff you name it acrylic never goes out of style that's why i love to buy it but i've had this oof since like 2017 and um, I don't need it no more. This other acrylic piece that I have is for the desk. And I have my iMac on here, which this actually fits perfectly. Look, we coming up with all kinds of ideas. So it looks like you can marry these two. That's like my favorite thing to do is to marry stuff. Does it? No, not quite. If this was literally an inch longer or taller, It'd be perfect. But like I said, you can never go wrong with acrylic. This was really popular, still is. And I had a 27 inch computer on top of it. So, all right, the next thing I have is also acrylic. And this is uh, 
file organized. So you can put a bunch of different file folders in here. One for receipts, one for incoming mail, outgoing mail, you name it. Memorabilia, all kind of stuff. All right. Sorry about my audio dying on me. But anyway, this piece is a file organizer and it is gold. I love that it has those little plates on the left side where you can go ahead and label it. And you can sit it on a flat surface or you can hang it up on the wall. It has two tabs on the back. And there's also a little tray at the bottom. So when I used it in my desk area, I would house like my stapler there. I'm also including these brackets that you can hang different shelves with and the shelves aren't included but you can purchase shelves from pretty much anywhere even if you have scrap wood you can use the scrap wood and create shelves out of it but these are brackets and they really work well if you have your desk facing the wall or if you have let's just say your desk in the middle of the floor and you want to put shelves behind it. I also have this really cute glass um, vase. Well, it's not a glass vase. It's actually a candle that I cleaned out because I thought that the little um, glass container was so cute. And I have put my jewelry in here. You can put your jewelry in there or you could add matches and then put like a little uh, abrasive thing on the back so that you can strike the match. That'd be cute. What else? I also have this planter with some horizontal lines which would be nice for a desk, add a little greenery. And then I have this picture frame, which is a one by one. So perfect for like an Instagram picture. Maybe, maybe you blow that Instagram picture up. And then I also have this picture frame and you can separate it into three different pictures by using a different mat. All right, this item here is unassembled, but I'm going to include the instructions on how to assemble it, as well as give you all of the parts and all of the tools to assemble it really quickly. It's an Ikea stool that has like some storage at the bottom, so it's super easy to put together. But for shipping purposes, I had to go ahead and disassemble it. Um, I did use this in my bathroom, which was really nice. I upgraded to an ottoman. so. I didn't need it anymore and it has this little gray I call it like a hammock because <laughs> it's almost like you can put like magazines or something uh, I used to put my my hair care stuff things that I would reach for frequently in this little thing but if you don't like this style like the color of the wood or even the color of this fabric you can use this as a template and then you can use whatever fabric you want all you need is velcro but anyway let me stop giving you DIY projects all right, so this lot comes with this stool and then it also comes with this basket. It's actually two. Before I completely redid the closet area um, that I used as my studio, I was housing so many different things. One of these baskets actually has um, a label for extra clothes because I housed extra clothes in here. I think I housed the video equipment in here. So you can use these for like a variety of things. This lot is more so organization. It's definitely going to get you organized. And I am including both of the labels. And so you can clip them on however you like, whether it's the handle or on the side. They fit perfectly on the top of wire racks. So that's nice. These are really nice uh, for organizing. I used these a long time ago um, in one of my closet makeovers, and then I just stored it away so they look brand new. Um, but if you have a lot of sheets or throw blankets or pants, you can hang these up and then have like multiple pants on each hanger, which is really nice. Um, what else? I purchased this a while ago which is a necklace stand very nice um, it was blue and so I put some silver contact paper on the bottom but if you wanted to spray paint it or take the contact paper on, off or leave it on or change it you can do that but I like it because it's super long and all of the necklaces fit perfectly so get rid of that also have an earring stand if you need to organize, I do have some of these little organizing drawer things that go into the drawers. Now, the only thing is the piece that keeps it straight, I don't know what happened to it, 
But all you need to do is get one of your Amazon boxes that come because I know I know you've been shopping at Amazon. Just cut that out to the size of this, set it on here, set it on the cardboard, trace it out, and then just slide it at the bottom. It'll probably be better than the cardboard that this came with. Um, and it'll stand up straight and then you can categorize and organize all of your uh, clothing. I bought these for my drawers, but I bought too many and I just don't want to hold on to stuff that I'm not actually using. If I need more in a few shots, I just buy more. And here's another one. Same thing. And oh, I lied. Look, this is the bottom for it. <laughs> so you don't even have to do all of that. OK, so these fold out and then you just slide them in the bottoms of these. That's my life all the time. Anyway, also I have these pillows for your watches or if you want to put your bracelets on them, that's going to be a part of the jewelry. In the last week, we have been robbed. My dog has been sick and my car has stopped at least 20 times. <laughs> and on top of that, taxes are due, okay? Yeah. So let's live this out together because one thing that I do not do is stress about anything. Absolutely nothing stresses me out. <laughs> my mom was like, you don't get upset or you don't stress about nothing for what i can't change it with stress all right let me backtrack last wednesday i was about to change the locks on my storage unit because when i organized it in january we lost the keys and so i called my husband and i was like i'm at the storage unit i got two new locks i'm gonna have them cut the lock off and then i'm gonna put new locks on this was at 150 in the afternoon he was like no nah, i don't want to cut the locks just you know wait a minute i'm gonna look for the keys some more so i said all right i said are you sure i'm in front of the storage unit he said no nah. i kept going i didn't go in the storage unit that night at 8 21 p.m a white f-150 backed up towards the gate where the storage unit is somebody hopped out cut the cord or the gate cord and pulled the gate back. The F-150 goes into the storage unit and they circle around for a few and then they start chewing through all of the different storage units. So they were not cutting locks. They were literally cutting the metal that the lock goes on and then just like moving down the line. So they get to our storage unit and my husband loves motorsports motorcycles like that's his thing so so they steal his jet ski here's where the frustration comes in at this happened on wednesday they call us on friday at one o'clock p.m to tell us that the storage unit had been broken into it's very much feeling like an inside job and there was no cameras barely any cameras four cameras none of them even faced the outward uh, part of the business so you can't even see which way the perpetrators went with the jet ski just terrible but god is always always working so my my blessing and the whole thing is that the reason i was going to change those locks on wednesday at 1 50 p.m was because i told my husband like you need to get on your harley and he would usually go get his bike you know between the hours of like 7 30 to like nine o'clock and God was like no I don't want him at that storage unit because anything could happen anything could happen you pull up and you see somebody with your jet ski it just it, it could have been so bad and that's why I'm so grateful to God for everything that happened in my life because whether it's good or bad like when you start looking for him looking for God in every situation, you always see the blessing that, that he has for you. So that was, that was thing number one. Yesterday, I finished getting my hair done and I'm on the phone with Bay again. And he's outside with the dog. He's throwing bread like left and right and the dog's running, getting the bread. And then he throw the bread for the last time, the dog, Jack, our dog, 
runs, stops, falls on his back, and starts seizing. So I'm on the phone with him. He's like, Jack season, what should I do? What should I do? I'm like, calm down. He needs to go to a vet. Once he stops seizing, you know, take him, get him car, take him to the to the you know the vet or the emergency room. He's like, I don't know what one is. I'm like, okay, that's cool. Cause last week I took Jack to the vet. He ended up getting like a shot, some antibiotics, some some shampoo because he's trying to get alopecia. But Jack is old. Jack is 12 years old. So, you know, these are the days that I was dreading. And it looks like they're they're trying to keep up. But I got hope for Jack. I think he's gonna be okay. His behavior is still the same. So so after he finished season, he wet himself because that you know, it was a real seizure. He definitely wet himself. And um he threw him in a car. Not threw him in a car, but he put him in a car. And uh, I ended up calling the VCA. And so they knew he was on his way. And they did blood work. Today, I'm just now dropping him off because he's getting chest x-rays, like a bunch of x-rays. So peripherally, nothing horrible comes back, you know, with his heart or, you know, with his, um, you know, no masses are found or anything like that. But it's quite concerning because he has, like I said, big chunks of hair falling off of his fur. And um, yeah, so that's thing number two. And then I'm sitting in this car that I'm so grateful for and I love so much. It's old, y'all. I still got CDs. I still got a CD player in this car, but I'm so grateful for this vehicle. But it has literally stopped 10 times since I dropped Jackson off at the vet this morning. So I'm saying all that to say, yeah, life be life in. Then on top of all of that, taxes I do very soon. So I'm trying to get the tax stuff together. I shouldn't have waited so long. But yeah, just wanted to let you know, like all the little little madness that's going on. It's all good, though, because I woke up today. I still have the Lord on my side. And so no matter what comes my way, no matter what happens, I'm going to be blessed.